Like his father and grandfather before him, Joachim Lehmann harvests his grapes as the last rays of summer shine down on the Elbe River. In communist East Germany, the Lehmann family's business was heavily regulated by the state. Today, they sell the wine themselves. They work hard to promote wines from Saxony, Germany's northernmost wine-growing area. We have to show the other regions that we can do it, that we're on the market, that we don't just grow grapes, but we also make wine. Wine that's just as good or better than the others. We work hard on our vineyards and in the cellar to set ourselves apart from the rest. Each year, one and a half million people visit Saxony's capital, Dresden. Like most Saxons, Dresdners are famously happy with their lot. A small celebration is held in Saxony's state parliament on October 3rd, the day of German unity. These are good times for Saxony's conservative governing coalition. The economy and exports are up, while unemployment and debt are sinking. But the opposition says Saxony has paid a price for its current success. The state quickly adapted to the ways of the free market, but also made broad social cuts. Saxony has the lowest per capita social expenditures of all 16 German states, so the cost can be clearly identified. There have been many cutbacks and quite a few perks that Saxony didn't indulge in. For instance, teachers here were not granted the status of civil servants, so many went elsewhere. We've paid a price for our success. While there are still many reminders of Saxony's former communist past, the changes cannot be overlooked. Like here, in Sittau, a small town in the economically underdeveloped southeast. Directly after the fall of the wall, a plucky group of engineers started up a company here. Today, they sell remote control technology to major German automakers. Ideas, business savvy and well-trained local employees are the secret to the success of Saxony's mid-sized businesses. We survived the economic crisis without having to lay off a single employee. That's something we're very proud of, because that really demonstrated the stability of our company. Schools are the cornerstone of Saxony's success. Sciences figure heavily from early on. In a nationwide comparison, Saxony schools placed second, right behind Bavaria. The school system hasn't changed much since reunification, while other states in Germany have had to make the change from 13 years of secondary school to a 12-year program. Sometimes we have a hard time understanding why certain topics have been so contentious in the West, like reducing school from 13 to 12 years. We've always had a 12-year school system, and it's never been a problem. Sometimes we do wonder why people haven't recognized how well it's worked here and simply emulated it. The winemakers along the Elbe are proud of the upswing they're experiencing, more than two decades after Germany reunified. I like to look at the bright side. We've made it. I'm quite happy with unification. We're not so bad. We Saxons are doing some good things. In fact, this self-confidence in Saxony could help the two Germanys grow even closer together.